Welcome back everyone. An expansion in AI technology in the last year has spawned hundreds of websites that generate written content and images as far as the imagination can go. Everyone from government to businesses to even schools now trying to catch up to figure out how AI should and should not be used. 12 News journalist Joe Dana takes us to one Arizona school district now on the forefront of the AI revolution. You have to leave the big cities and drive the 347 through the desert to get to Maricopa High School. That's where you'll find a campus integrating AI technology in all kinds of ways. It enhances a lot of the processes that we might not know so much about, right? Art students mold clay figurines that were first conceptualized by an AI program. Graphic design students use AI to practice business scenarios. We use AI to help emulate a client. Students use AI for math tutoring. It tells you how they came up with that problem. And some students, if they choose to, can look at that and help learn as they're figuring out the answer. Photographers use an AI editor. And it can help you polish or just clean up whatever you're doing. Even the campus's most popular student podcaster is using it. AI can play a role in terms of uh, just optimizing the audio quality of our videos. None of this is by accident. We need to move forward with this technology, knowing that it's going to change the outlook on public education. At a recent AI summit in the East Valley for school leaders nationwide, we found administrators from Maricopa Unified, the only K-12 district from Arizona represented here. Some people might be surprised that this AI convention, the, the only district here is kind of a rural school district. <laughs> We are growing. We were. You guys aren't shying away, though, no. from this technology. No, we are embracing it because we know that our students are going to be the future wor workforce. As schools confront a new age in learning, Maricopa Unified is taking an aggressive approach. I think it's important to know that it's here to stay. We cannot block this from happening. The district even holding an AI information session with parents on November 29th a way to educate families and get feedback as the district writes a code of conduct to guide teachers and students. So we just need to make sure that we're calibrating our students to realize that this is a tool for them and it can help them create an outline or help them with some studies, but not to replace the actual outcome. The challenge for Maricopa Unified and all Arizona schools is getting students to buy into that belief. It's kind of like our stepping stone. Using AI can help us get a little bit of a higher step. There are definitely a lot of things that you shouldn't be doing with AI, especially that takes away from your education here at school. A lot of it still has to come from the student who you are as a person. We need to embrace it, but we need some parameters. The U.S. Department of Education is warning school leaders about the power of AI, saying it may lead to bias in how patterns are detected and unfairness in how decisions are automated. The department says school leaders must develop their own policies to govern AI. It appears as of now, it's up to every individual district. Joe Dana, 